Hey all, it's Jeff from M61 Ministries. We just returned from our uh, February 2012 trip to Kenya. Uh, the video that you're about to see is strictly of the feeding program that we do on a monthly basis and uh, we did while we were uh, there. Uh, it's in the dump site of Nakuru. The footage um, is raw. This is not a professional video by any means, but I just wanted to kind of uh, convey the message of what we're doing in Kenya. Some of the uh, scenes you're going to see are really heartbreaking. It uh, touched me uh, deeply uh, when we were there. You know, we've supported this program for quite some time, uh, feeding in the slums and feeding in the dumps, uh, but uh, actually being there firsthand was uh, quite eye-opening. So um, here it is, and. Uh, I can't say I hope you enjoy. I don't know what to say exactly, but uh, this is this is the reality. And for those of you that have uh, committed to support uh, M61 Ministries, this is where your dollars go. So I want to say uh, thank you so much for your support, um, and uh, hope you enjoy. Bye now. Okay. Okay. We're uh, we're in the dump site in uh, just outside of a. Uh, Nakuru, Kenya, with Pastor Kenny. Yeah. I just wanted him to tell us about what we're what we're looking at today. And uh, go okay. ahead, Pastor. Uh, this is the dumping site, our town's main dumping site, where every dump from every place in this town comes to this place. And uh, we have about uh, 120 structures, as you can see at the back there. We have 120 structures for the street families that are living here. We have about 500 families living within this place. That is men, women, and children. And all they do is that whenever we have the dump being uh, dumped here, they get their food from the dams, they get their clothes from the dams, they get everything that they need from the dams. They also get some items that they try and sell to get money. So their life is just here. They scavenge with the pigs are uh, with the goats are uh, with the cattles and even the vultures as you can see around we have so many of them so their lifestyle is just here everything is here bless you we're right in the middle of the garbage dump in akuru the smell is horrid it smells better when you're breathing smoke yeah that's, that's, there that's is. Disgusting. They're digging through the trash to pick up anything of value that they can possibly sell, eat. Vault right among all the vultures. It's just a horrible sight. Well, they may. As we, uh, Pastor Ken and myself, go up the side of the hill, I've never seen so many vultures in my life. The, uh, it's not a zoo, this is real. There's got to be a hundred vultures up here. Looking for food. The same food that uh, folks below are looking to, to dig through and find a meal. We're leaving, you can see uh, truck after truck lined up from our dumping and there's people as it comes out going through every ounce of garbage trying to find something that they could possibly sell, they could possibly wear, make their homes out of, uh, or uh, eat. Do you want me to take you? I can take you. Oh, go ahead. Get one of them. These are houses on the top of the hill? Yeah. Yeah, we are going to see everything. 
Okay, what we're looking at as we walk by are actual uh, structures. These are uh, homemade houses that uh, the folks that live here in the dump site have built and and live in. So they're made of everything from uh, bamboo to wood to rocks. Uh, just something to give a little bit of shelter. And, uh, that's what we're looking. Okay, we're going into one of the homes. Yeah, this lady says she lives in this house with. Uh, sorry, she lives with twelve children. In this, in, in this, this house. house. This is where they sleep. This is a bed. There's a bed here. A bed, and this is also a bed. Okay. So some sleep there, some here, and some some sleep on. They put some sack on the floor. Here, on okay. The floor. And they sleep. And that's used for cooking? This is used for cooking. Okay. When they are sleeping, they remove it. Okay. It's, it is like they, where they cook the food. Okay. And so we're in a, a, a room that's maybe 10 feet by 10 feet. Yes. And 12, 12 children 12. living here 12, together. 12, 12. And uh, that's now the bedding. one of the beds. This okay. is the seat. Okay. Yeah. Everything that they, these, all these are coming from the dump site. Everything you see in the house is just from the dump site. Okay. They get it from here. So, uh, except this one's the Except the for timber. the timber. Yeah. Sometimes okay. we buy them and we help them put up the structures. Okay. Yeah. But everything else comes just directly yes, from the dump site. the rugs, the, everything else. And, and what is Mama's name here? Elizabeth Wanja. She's Elizabeth. 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 Wanja. Wanja. Okay. Okay. Hi, I don't know Nitaki. He wants you, not me. Here you can see uh, another structure, a house, and then there are a whole stack of uh, different various uh, bottles. And uh, so this is the way they'll, they'll gather all the bottles. People come, uh, if they're useful bottles, uh, they might pay whatever they can pay, and they sell these bottles to the public, where they'll take them and clean them and reuse them for something else as a means of making some money. Know they're living here, they're very industrious. You can see the sandals that they've collected, and uh, so they're, again, they're very industrious up here, trying to make money any way they can to support themselves. It's, it's a, an entire subculture and community within a community, but uh, it's just amazing. Okay, we're down in the cave area, and you can see there's someone sleeping down in the cave right now. This is where they live on the edges of the dump site. That's what I want. Okay, this is a, a load of sawdust uh, that's come in and, and uh, they're sipping through it to find coal, like Pastor Kenny has in his pan, charcoal, so that they can actually uh, cook with the charcoal. So they use the charcoal to cook just like we would on our girls in America was what they used to uh, This is, uh, this is cooking. That's a can. This is and cooking fat. They are getting it from this, here. This is our cooking fat. This is cooking okay. fat. And uh, so but they're, it's they're used. storing it. You know, they will be using it today to me. No, what I'm saying is it's already been used once. Now they're yes. using it again. Okay. They will so be this using is, it. This is cooking fat that's uh, come in that they will store and use for uh, cooking in the future. If it's okay. Okay, we're outside, we're getting ready to uh, start uh, feeding, and these are folks just uh, waiting to be fed. We're just kind of observing, and people are grabbing uh, water containers, cutting them up, making plates out of them, and whatever it takes so they can have some uh, some food today. And uh, wouldn't it be nice to just purchase a set of plates that they could wash every time there's a feeding and have something to actually eat off of? But, simple little things that can be done to make a difference. So.
That's what we're doing right now. Okay, so we've been here for a couple of hours now. The, the basic feeding is done, and now what happens is they buy bags of corn mace. And uh, that's what you're seeing right here. They're going to scoop out the corn mace and they give everybody a, a bucket full of corn mace. And what they do with this, they make their staple, which they mix it with water, they heat it, and it turns into uh, ugali. And uh, that is like their, it's their starch, like our potato. It, uh, it turns into a paste, which hopefully I can put a picture of it in uh, along with this video from a, from a table or something. But uh, So now they're fed. Um, and now they go home with enough mace to actually make uh, some other meals at home. At least they have a starch to go home to and make and last for a couple more days. So that's uh, that's the process. But every feeding, it's, it's followed by the corn mace uh, going out. I'm going to try and get them a bucket full each. So you see everybody has their bags of some sort. Um, to come and collect their, their corn mace. So that's it.